all right welcome to frank teaches devils all right um good good evening good morning good 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 well wherever you are in the world okay so um today's video is on um istio service match all right service match and um one of the tools used for implementing service match is is to service match service match is, is a technique you use um, for communicating with your microservices all right when you have multiple services in a match connected with each interconnected all right interconnected with each other you yes when you have services interconnected all right, service management is a dedicated infrastructure layer that you can add to your application. It allows you to transparently add capabilities like observability, monitoring, um, security, uh, and what have you. Okay, and um, there are different types of service mesh, service mesh types. Let's see, and um, and istio happens to be one of those service mesh types so we have popular service mesh includes linkerd istio console kuma and mesh itself all right okay and they have supporting um proxies supporting technologies within the space include layer 7 which are supporting proxies such as you have envoy ha proxy nginx and then um, missing all right okay so um in the plane of service merge we will be looking at istio how to integrate istio with your kubernetes cluster okay integrating istio with your kubernetes cluster so what is istio so istio is an open framework for connecting securing managing and monitoring microservices and we all know where microservices runs. Microservices runs on your Kubernetes cluster. And um, Istio includes, um, these are things that Istio could handle. Um, service discovery. This should be service discovery with the help of, I'll, I'll come over there in, in a bit. It does load balancing. It does failure recovery. It also does metrics and monitoring right okay so um i have um, a high level diagram but before i look into this diagram let's look at the architecture all right of each two all right so um this is the architecture of each two and each two is divided into two parts we have the data plane and we have the control plane so the data plane is where you have your services um is the layer for your services all right is layer for your services so as you can see how service a i have service b so each of these services they are attached each of these services is attached to um um a feature an object called proxy it could be called a an istio proxy or it could also be called um, an envoy or at the same time it could be called a sidecar okay so these sidecar are responsible for collecting and reporting telemetry all right on all mesh traffic okay on all the mesh traffic they are responsible for collecting and reporting um the telemetry that's the metrics all right so this service a service b so automatically once you deploy the sidecar in your on your data plane in your kubernetes cluster it's going to get attached to every service right we're going to see that in uh um, in, in in the demo which we have then on on the control plane side we have uh, the control plane component we have the pilots we have the citadel and the galley so the pilot is used for traffic management the citadel is used for service to service authentication all right using um mutual tls there's a concept called mutual tls then the galley the galley is responsible for data configuration 
okay it's also used to translate configuration data okay since istio um does not since istio has a capability of of um, of integrating with external applications outside of the cluster all right so i think this is just the um istio architecture at a higher level all right so now let me break down this architecture in what we are going to have in our diagram all right in our cluster sorry so this is the kubernetes cluster all right so in this kubernetes cluster it is assumed that we have um the worker load and it's also assumed that we have services and we also have pores in the cluster okay now before 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 installing uh your istio all right so we, we need to, before installing your istio we already have this in these settings we already have this in our in our cluster all right the node the service and the port now once you install istio or i would say on the istio side all right on the istio side istio comes along with with different um, add-ons, with a lot, a lot of add-ons, all right? But a few add-ons we shall be working with in this uh, video is Kiali, Prometheus, Jaeger, and Grafana. So Kiali is, 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 is a dashboard, all right? It's a, it's, it's a dashboard where you visualize, um, we visualize the, the communication between uh, the services, the applications in your Kubernetes cluster. We're going to see that. Then Prometheus. Prometheus is responsible for the metric scraping, right? It's responsible for scraping the metrics needed for 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 Istio, right? The Jaeger is also uh, another um, uh, visual visualization tool, which can also use to visualize your application. Then Grafana, as we all know, is also um, another visualization tool. But um, in this context we shall limit uh our visualization our 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 service visualization our service visualization to kiali all right so kiali so this is everything now this guy here is called a sidecar the sidecar or the sq proxy or the uh envoy all right envoy so the moment you uh, the moment istio is installed in your cluster and you want to monitor these uh, these ports and services your applications and services you have to inject the sidecar all right you have to inject the sidecar into the ports into the ports and the best way we, that we can inject the sidecars into the port is by labeling the namespaces we are going to do all of that all right so the moment the, the, you inject the sidecar into the namespace of which this port belongs to, this sidecar will automatically get attached. It will automatically get attached to the port. All right? So once your deployment and the replica sets are up and running, assuming you, you've created the deployment with, um, with, 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 with one replica, all right? With a replica set. Okay, when when you now view your your port, you say let's say for instance you say kubectl get port, you 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 get to see two ports running instead of one port. Instead of one port, you get to see two ports running. We are going to do all of those um, demo to illustrate how the sidecar works in your Kubernetes cluster. So once the sidecar has been injected, you see the sidecar attaching itself to the port. So this is all we have about Istio. I think um, the demo is going to uh, clear a lot of doubts, right? And open a, a proper avenue for, for proper understanding, right? So the idea is for me to use um, uh, Istio to monitor our Kubernetes cluster. Using Istio to monitor services, applications running on your Kubernetes cluster so here's the catch using istio 
to monitor monitor services services applications workloads running on your kubernetes cluster okay so that is the catch people that is the catch so let's go directly into the demo all right so demo i have um, my kubernetes cluster already up and running if i say kubectl get nodes my session should have expired okay my session is still up so now i'm going to base my video this video on uh, i'll be using istio documentation for all of these okay so just watch uh click on i'll go to istio.io and i'll click on documentation i'll go to is it getting started getting started is it here perfect perfect okay so this is so the first phase is download istio all right so use this command to download istio once it's downloaded it's going to create a folder so the latest version of istio is 1.1.4 1.14.1 1 all right so you change into the directory then the next thing you need to do you you need to install istio ctl so in istio ctl is a utility you use in interacting with the istio um server uh, and its component on your Kubernetes cluster. All right. So, without further ado, let's get into work. Okay. So, the first line is I'm going to download the Istio um, package. Okay. So, come down here. I will paste that. It's been downloaded. Yes. So, they've now given us what to do. Uh, Istio has been successfully downloaded into this. Next step is this uh, configure, blah, 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 blah. Add this to your environment variable. So what I will do, I'll just copy all of this. Copy this, export. They said I should copy that, paste it, export it. So all of this is needed so that I can run Istio CTL. You can see, I can now run Istio CTL. So Istio is now installed in my environment. This I have done. All right, so step two says change directory. So if I go back to my cluster, I do uh, ls, I should see Istio this, Istio that. So cd into Istio, I will now see other files. All right, so I'm inside of Istio, I've already exported this path. Add Istio, blah, 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 blah. I've already exported this path, okay, which I did somewhere there. Now installing Istio. So these are you install Istio istio install set profile demo all right so there are different configuration profiles let's look at the configuration profile that we have let's look at them and see the ones to use so for configuration profile component mapped okay blah 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 so we have different profile we have the default profile we have the demo profile we have the minimal profile external profile empty profile and the preview profile and there's somewhere that these profiles were properly defined. Thank you. This is this. So the default profile enables components according to the default settings of Istio operator. Um, demo configuration designed to showcase Istio functionality with modest resource requirements. So this demo profile is just to show um, Istio functionality. So if I were to deploy Istio on a production server, I want to go with um, demo profile. Rather, I'll go with the default profile. All right. So the demo profile is going to give me this component. It's going to give me Istio Ingress Gateway. I'm going to get Istio Ingress Gateway. I'm also going to get Istio D. Sorry, I didn't mention Istio D. I also didn't mention the Ingress and um, uh, Egress traffic. As we all know, these are inbound traffic and outbound traffic. All right. Then we have the Istio D. The Istio D, which is the Istio daemon runs on the control plane all right runs in the control plane so for the purpose of demonstration i shall be using the demo profile so let's go back so this is what i will do i'm going to install istio so i'm going to copy this profile copy that come over here and paste paste so we're going to see how istio 
will get installed into my Kubernetes cluster. So Istio core is installed, processing resources for Istio G. Okay, so it takes some time. So let me just um, um, pause the video and uh, it's like it's getting done. It's like it's getting done. Pause the video and be right back. Great, um, now that Istio has been installed. So Istio core installed, Istio D installed, the egress gateway installed, ingress installation was complete. Making this installation the default for injection and validation. Thank you for installing Istio. So, so far we have Istio already installed. Now, this is the site, this is this part now, injecting the sidecar. Now, what did we say about the sidecar? This is the proxy. This guy is the sidecar. So the moment we inject this guy, automatically this guy gets attached to the running port. Okay? It gets attached to the running port. All right. So as we said, the sidecar is responsible for collecting and reporting telemetry. Okay? So from our documentation, um, I wouldn't want to do this part yet. I will wait for this part so that you see, um, you see, you, so, that, so that you get to see um the sidecar in action that being said um istio has provided us with a sample application right to test these uh um, these uh to, to test and uh, service mesh right so i'm going to be deploying this sample application and um, see how everything flies all right so the app sample application is on that sample let's go there so it's in my directory. I'll change directory to examples. So uh, the applications is on um um where's the application is booking change directory to booking. So we have the application on the change directly to platform. Great. So this is platform and cube change the radical cube so we have all of these on the cube all right so i just need to run everything i mean every okay, okay booking.info so booking.info so i'll just say cube ctl apply minus f booking dot booking info book info the yaml all right so book info the yaml so it's going to create all of these um, deployments and services. So if I say kubectl get port. So, so far, I'm having just one replica to this deployment. All right. So, so far, I'm having one replica to this deployment. So let me check. All right. Unauthorized. My session just expired. Okay, so yeah. So kubectl get port. So you can see my entire ports are up and running. But so far, I don't have the sidecar. The sidecar has not been attached to this port, the deployment. So let me check the deployment. Kubectl uh, get deployment um okay so the same thing all right so this is what we'll do this is what we'll do so far okay so if i say get services i'll get the same services get ports i'll get them now if you see from what they have on the documentation they said uh the sidecar has already gotten attached to the ports all right now this is how you inject the sidecar I just wanted to show us so that you see the sidecar in action. So far, get port. There is no sidecar. So the moment I the moment I inject the sidecar in my namespace is going to automatically attach another replica to this port. So that at the end of the day, you start seeing two of two, two of two, two of two, two of two. And not one of one, all right? Because I've already attached the sidecar. So let's see how we can attach the sidecar. So 
these um, ports are running in the default namespace all right so so for that for that for that for that i may have to assign i may have to manually i may have to automatically inject the sidecar into the default namespace but before then let's check uh get namespace and then let's check the labels show labels on show labels show labels all right so so far you can see my default namespace i don't have any um label called istio injection so i may need to run this command to inject the sidecar into that namespace so once i inject the sidecar into the namespace whatever objects going forward once the sidecar is being injected into the namespace whichever deployments you make any deployment you make that belongs to the default namespace will automatically get will automatically be assigned a sidecar so what i mean is now i have the default namespace and i'm going to inject a sidecar into the default namespace now any deployment i make in the default namespace that deployment will automatically get attached to an istio proxy yes that's the meaning of this that's the meaning of this whole story so i'm copying the sidecar come over here Control v i'm going to paste it so pasting it to tell me that this namespace has been labeled so let's check if that is correct so you can see that i now have this injection labeled into the namespace but so far this will not happen automatically get ports it's not going to happen automatically all right it's not going to happen automatically until these ports get restarted they get restarted or i may have to redeploy deployments that created these ports all right i may have to re re redeploy the deployments recreate the deployment that created these ports all right as you can see we have zero restarts so it's going to take a whole lot before these um these what's it called these uh this port gets restarted but since they are all replica sets i can manually delete delete the ports and it will get created qtl delete port these are the only things i have in my default um default namespace so once i do this uh get ports let's see uh let's say what well, but no names no name was specified oh sorry qctl deletes or oh. mm. let me try qctl deletes ports let me try let me try with this let's do with this first let's do it step by step so you see it all right so it's getting deleted it's getting deleted so automatically you see that why it's get it, it, it why why it started creating all right so let me say keep it here why it, it gets on why it's being created why it's being recreated automatically you see the sidecar getting attached to that pole look at this now guys look at this so you can see that this pod has already been attached to to what to the sidecar that pod has already been attached to the sidecar okay now i need to also i'll, I'll still come back to this uh, okay let me let's let's describe that pod qctl describe describe pod then the pod name let's describe the pod and then see the, the sidecar attachment let's go to the top you see is to proxy let's go to the top. you can see here is to proxy has already been attached so you can see container id these are containers so is to proxy is one of the container with container id you have the original container itself which is called product page now you also have the sidecar container which is called is to proxy all right with container id this 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 image is to image 
all right so this is it this just goes to tell us that the east the, the container the east steel um sidecar container has been attached to that port so now this port is now getting reports east steel is now getting reports from the container since the sidecar is attached to the port all right so let's do one more time qttl get port so to, to, to see the beauty of all of this, I'm going to install the add-ons, all right? There are add-ons that comes with, uh, from our diagram. So these are the add-ons, Kiali, Prometheus, Yega, and Grafana. So I'm going to install the add-ons uh, add and see how we can visualize uh, our services, our workloads, and applications on Kiali, okay? So quickly, so we'll go back to the documentation the add-ons where can we see the add-ons it's just simple just simple no need to come back here so the add-ons is their own sample so here are the add-ons chain directory add-ons so we have the entire add-on we have grafana we have yega we have kiali parameters so i'll say qctl apply minus f okay so i'm gonna do grafana i'm gonna do Yega, I'm going to do Kiali, I'm going to do Prometheus, that's it. So all of these, oh, sorry. I should have, I'm afraid if there's something under extras. Let me do Grafana, created. Uh, let me do Kiali, created. Let me do Prometheus. Let me do bigger. Okay, so all of these runs on PTTL get get ports. I don't think you will get much of them. They run on namespace Istio system. They run on the Istio system namespace. So you can see Prometheus uh, two um, replica sets, Kiali is should be up any moment let's check let's check all right so kiali is up okay so let's also check the service for kiali so if i say uh kubectl get service let's get the service for kiali so the service for kiali uh is it here service for kiali is not here now check namespace is to system okay so kiali is deployed as um a cluster ip the type is cluster ip all right so for simplicity i may have to change uh for for us to be able to access the dashboard on externally all right i'll change this cluster ip to to a node port quickly to a node port so that we can access it's externally I just want to make all of this enter my screen it's too small now sorry guys okay all right so the service cube ctl let me just get scaly grep Kiali. service name is Kiali. all right so Kiali. so i'm going to say uh cube um edit service Kia the in namespace uh is to system all right so let's see great so i'm going to go to the bottom of this manifest where i have type i'm going to change it to what node port node ports to from cluster ip to node port this is required so that i can access this service externally so if I try to launch this again, clearly, I should get uh, an associated port, all right, which is 31315. So 31315. So I'm going to expose this port on my security group. So let's hop to my AWS instance, go to instance. Okay, I have, um, sorry um come on come on come on okay my session has expired 
all right so i have the instances so um this is one of the instance security group i'm going to expose uh, where's my security group okay let me attach a security group to this guy quickly um security group security group i need that security group frank yes add security group to save okay i just did that for this security group so i'm going to edit some open some ports edit inbound rules so add the rule custom ip 31315 31315 is that the ports 31315 uh 31315 okay okay great 31315 anywhere save the rules save the rules right okay so now with that ip Let's try to access um, the Istio, the Istio, what's it called now? Machiali dashboard. Let's try to access Machiali dashboard on the web. 31315. 31315. Great. So you can see that Kiali is up and running. Okay. Kiali is up and running. Let me close some of these pages. So Kiali is up and running. So um, yeah, so this is the Kiali dashboard. All right, so this is Kiali dashboard. And if I go to graph, nothing. I go to applications. Um, let's go to services. I want to show something. Workloads, nothing yet. Um, default namespace, please. Okay, now look at what this thing is saying. If you remember, if I do a QTTL get ports, when we attached, when we restarted, we've already injected the uh, sidecar container uh, in the default uh, namespace. All right. If you remember when we restarted, we killed this port and the port automatically recreated itself because it is a replica set. All right, and the moment it, it, it recreated itself, it gets automatically attached to what the sidecar container. Now you can see that port product page. This is a product page, and it already has a sidecar, so it's not showing missing sidecar. So every other um, port in this namespace is 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 showing what a missing sidecar. So I, I would want to remove all of this missing sidecar by killing the ports so that they will recreate by themselves. So I'll do the same thing I did. Keep CTL delete. Delete port. I'll delete this. Copy and paste. To get recreated, uh, do the same thing. Or better still, okay, look at this now. If I refresh, review, just refresh. This is it's coming up. It's coming up. It's, re it's refresh now. Let me set the refresh to 10, 10 seconds. All right. It's automatically, let's come back. It has gone from red to green. Okay. So I'll do the same thing. Um, I'm going to kill the next board. Let me just kill all of those ports. I don't know if this will go. Great. So now, look at this now. So automatically, they will get so the moment they get recreated they automatically get attached to the sidecar all right they will automatically get attached with the sidecar now look at now see what's happening they are all going green they are all going green they are going green it's restarting itself they are going green so at this point they are all getting attached to the sidecar so just it's, it's just it's, it's just beautiful it's beautiful it still is just beautiful on how they get attached so let me bring us back to our diagram so you can see from this diagram this cycle because i have restarted i have forcefully restarted this port and when they get created they also get attached to the sidecar container okay so this is what is happening so every service has a corresponding sidecar container attached to it okay so let's go back to our kiali dashboard you can see they're all green now 
they are all green. So come back here. If I say QTTL get port, you can you will not see between that. Every port now has two replicas. Every port now has what two replicas running concurrently. All right. So you mean that there is two ports. One, there's two containers. One is a sidecar container, and the other is the original container from the port. Okay. So this is just just so so beautiful. So if you go to services, we we'll see all the services line here uh go to istio config um let's go to graph let's see what's oh, nothing has happened here yet there's no traffic yet uh applications let me check something uh let's go to um page products um there's no graph there's no traffic okay so uh, there's no traffic yet so now from this documentation istio has a way of generating traffic all right so they have a way of generating traffic so that you see um these application in play and you see the analysis in play so let's see verify everything is working correctly up to this point run this command to see if the app is running inside the cluster and serving html pages by checking for the page title in the response uh this we have to log in into that there should be a way to generate traffic there should be a way to generate traffic they don't have a way to generate traffic uh open the application to outside traffic okay okay all right okay the booking is deployed but not associated from the outside to make it accessible you need to create an issue ingress gateway okay uh, which maps a path to a route at the edge of your mesh okay okay great associate the application with the issue gateway so i'm going to deploy this application and see something so this is what that was this this is the booking uh booking gateway is going to give us that traffic that we want control v um error does not exist okay i'm outside um i'm outside um pwd all right samples that's that okay um control v again control what is it now control v all the same okay okay dot dots all right control v now you should go all right so it's now telling us that the gateway networking has been created and the virtual service book info has been created so these are services that is going to um, be at the edge of the merge the edge of the merge to cause a traffic in our cluster so let's check let's check uh, any moments from now, we should have we should start seeing um, traffic. The graph. Let me refresh. Uh, go to graph. Um, nothing is there. Go to services. Um, go to. Let me see what I have on that Istio system as well. All right, I have the Istio uh, ingress. I have the ingress. Okay. Yega collector, so this is Kiali. Um, let's see, Istio ingress. This is the type is load balancer. Uh, there's no traffic yet, no traffic inbound, no traces as well. Let's see, there should be something booking info. Uh, let's see. Uh, info gateway. No, this is config. Sorry, workloads. This we're supposed to have. Um, if we had, if there had been uh, some traffic, some generated traffic, we'd have gotten a a a, a, um, a graph. We'd have seen a beautiful graph on this space. Uh, you've seen a beautiful graph on this space um last 10 minutes all right let me pause and see if i can okay okay we've seen a way to generate traffic so here is the way to generate traffic um so we've already deployed the gateway url so i'm going to copy the gateway url the gateway url should be on my on my load balancer 
So uh, if I say cube CTL get service uh, namespace um, Istio system. So here is the ingress gateway. All right, it's coming as a load balancer. So let's access this guy. So I'll copy. It runs on ports. What port number again? Let me see. Uh, copy. Let me see. If I paste that, does it run on port eighty? No way. Um, no way. Um, let's go to load balancer. Load balancer. What's the value? The value is a eight e. So let's check. Let's check. So here is it. So let's look at the, here's the load balancer. So let's look at the the uh, listeners. The port is list it listens on load balancer port fifteen four four three, also port eighty. Okay. So it's listening on port eighty as well. So I'll say slash product product underscore page. So it's one of those services. Uh, let's look at here. Say product page, sorry. Product page. Let's see, product page. Okay, great. Now, this is the application. All right, guys, because when I looked at the, um, the what's it called? The, somebody talked to me. When I looked at the, the, the listener, the port number, I could see that you can access this load balancer on port 80, on port 15021, on 443, 31400, and 1543. So I just use port 80, all right? And I'm submitting that page. I'm trying to check this product page. So the product page is also here. If I say keep CTL, get port. So that is the application called product page. So this is a product page. So now, by now, we should have some metrics. We should have some metrics on Kiali. So let me refresh. We should have some graph coming up now. We should have some graph coming up. Refresh you. Uh, go to applications. Um, product page. We should have something coming up. There should be something coming up, baby. Uh, services. Services. Product page. No, 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 no. Product page. Application. Product page. Refresh this page. Refresh. Refresh this page. We are supposed to have something. Graph loading. Graph load, 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 load. So refresh this page. There should be something coming up. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect, guys. So this is how you get. So you, this is your ingress. Uh, ingress gateway is now at the edge of your merge. So it's now sending traffic through your application. So this is, this is beautiful, guys. This is beautiful. So this is how you get to monitor the, the flow of traffic inside and outside of your cluster, all right, of your application. So you can see, if we go back to our drawing board, you can see this ingress gateway injecting traffic, injecting traffic into the, uh, the sidecar, all right? sidecar you can see here so this is what is happening right so every application has a virtual service so v1 is a virtual service details so pro product page is talking to details page it has gone off uh refresh also refresh it should come 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 so this is so product is talking towards details page so, so far, guys, so this is how we've been able to implement um, implement Istio on our Kubernetes cluster. So, we've used Istio to monitor our microservices. So far, so good. We've seen how we, we have been able to use... Oh, Pep, this is beautiful, guys. This is beautiful. Traffic is now coming, okay? Traffic is now coming. If I go to... Uh, this is this is nice this is too nice this is too nice all right so this is it guys so um we're going to end the video yeah yeah and um as i take home as i take home we've seen how we implemented istio service merge to monitor 
and manage or secure uh, our microservices running on Kubernetes cluster. And I want to use this medium to thank you guys. Thank you very much for your support. And um, thank you. And please, as a means of encouragement, try and share the, this video. Share this video. Like it. Like it. Comment. If there's anywhere you need to, uh, where I need to improve, just comment and um, I will always um, uh, work on it. Thank you and um, have a beautiful evening. Bye-bye.